Jones is priceless. <laughs> he got one that bad. I'm a little high. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens. I'm not gonna pretend. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna so low key. Okay, Y'all ain't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Good y'all. Ah, uh, yeah. Robin E, we back in the purple room. Well, we actually not in the purple room. <laughs> we somewhere else. But we running the Back Pillow Talk podcast. I pulled up on location. I'm super excited to be here with the guests. First off, this is a dope, dope place. Love the couch, love the atmosphere. So I'm excited to yeah, be yeah, here. But we got Omar Raps in the building. What's good? What's up, bro? I'm been chilling yeah chilling like a villain chilling but working real hard <laughs> at the same Absolutely. time always working definitely always working well i'm excited first of all to be here so thank you for letting me come out here you know in this space in this vibe this place is super dope i don't know where you found it how you found it but yeah. it's real prince it's real 80s it's real purple rain i love it it's super dope yeah, it's how did you find this place man i found it through uh peer space yeah you found it through peer space yeah Peer space. Peer space be having that shit. They do, low key, <laughs> They be hard. having that shit. No, but I love it. It's super dope. And we're here tonight. Thank you for one for having me come out here. Nah, we appreciate you. Yeah. Thank sure. you. Thank you. Having me come out here and you have a special project that you're working on tonight. You're doing a video shoot for a single. Absolutely. Uh, the single Slow It Down is out right now. Uh, well, it'll be coming out soon. We're shooting a visual for it. Let me stop speaking so soon. But what I'm saying is it will be dropping soon. We got a project dropping soon, too. So it's going to okay. be dope. Eyes, EP. Yes. First off, we love that you're working hard. We love definitely. that you get into it. Definitely love that. Yeah, so what's the vibe of the song? What's the vibe of the single? Well, it's like a, it's just like a, like one of them cool-ass, vabby-ass songs. But it's about a... You know, people love marijuana, right? I love marijuana. I Absolutely. I like weed. I like to smoke. So it's about that, but it's also a vibe. Like, it's just a, you know, a pop. And we were just having fun with it. So I feel like that's what it's giving off, and I think everybody enjoyed it. So. Okay. For sure. Nice. Definitely, definitely. Now, what was the vibe when you made it? Were you high when you made the song? Most definitely. I was high. <laughs> Matter of fact, I was so high that I thought I wrote two verses to it, but it was just one. Oh. So we had the uh, stage with stuff. She was like, man, he finna be all day. But I wasn't, though. <laughs> and I wrote it down right there to the Because mm. I was high. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you were still able to create some magic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Under under that influence. Absolutely. So it's been a minute since you've been here in a purple room. You know, I want to catch up just a little bit right. with you, you know, and just the stuff that you've been doing. Right. So you have a manager now. Absolutely, I got a manager. Um, shout out to Soundboy. You know what I'm definitely. saying? Shout out to the team. That's good. Yes. They most definitely uh, helped me elevate. So, how so, did that happen? Um. Well, the person uh, who does uh, Soundboy Management, who's, uh, who owns it, rather, the CEO, that's Stasia. So, uh, I knew Stasia because she was my engineer. And I used to go to her all the time. Shout out to Lakeisha. She was the one that recommended me to her. So when that happened, um, I just liked how we worked and we vibed out. And, you know, people be telling you anything when they recording. Mm. They just want the bread, you know. Unless you sound dope, you sound yeah. dope. But if you're not dope, they ain't going to tell you. Or if you are dope, but you're doing something wrong, they might not still tell you. Yeah. But I asked her and she was like, yo, it's dope. Nice. But at the same time, she was like, but you need to say it like this because the way you saying it is just sound, you know. It wasn't hidden. It was like saying, you know, it was tough without saying it was tough. <laughs> you need so, people like that, though. Absolutely. That's what's up. So, Definitely. Yeah, and um, I was working on a project with Pac last year. We did two projects, you know, the Oz EP, and then the other one, we, we'll talk about that one later. But um, in the midst of that, Stasia saw that I was working. She was starting her management. 
And then she just asked me, and I just thought it made sense. You feel me? So I went with her. Nice. Yeah. And it's been cool ever, th- ever since you feel like that was a good decision to get a manager. It was time. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and I don't think people understand, like, you know, with management, you know, they do manage everything, but you got to want it too, right? Facts. So you got to want it. You got to work for it. You got to work really hard for it. The manager's just there to help you elevate that. She working or he working anyway. So you got to want to, you got to want to work too and understand that. Y'all ain't going to always agree with everything, but y'all got to be able to communicate about it. So if you could communicate about it, then that'll work out. But if it ain't no communication, then that will never work out. Facts. So. Okay, look. With the yeah. gems. For sure. With the gems. So wise. So wise. Yeah, Back home. That. Back home. Back so you home. said you do have a new EP that you're working on. Absolutely. Well, it's you said it's already. done. Yeah, it's yeah, done. It's Benito. Done. Yeah, it's done. How many tracks are on the EP? Um, Seven. Yeah, seven all together, but it's super dope. Okay. It's hella Now, I got to know, how do you know when the EP is done? Well, I mean, most of the time, I just like to uh, make things sound like how it sound in my head. So it was just one of them situations. When I feel like that it sound like that, it was close to it. Sometimes it sound better than that. Mm. But when it sound right, then I know. So, okay. And we put it together, and um, I had the ideas. Stasia put her sauce on it, like she always do, and um, it turned out dope. It's super dope. I think it's giving out, it's giving a statement. Uh, we most definitely got something with it. You know, we got something with this, and um, man, we just excited about this, man. Like yes. I ain't gonna lie, I be trying to be cool and shit, but I'm super <laughs> excited about this. Shit. Nice. Real, like, so why 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 do you feel like you're so excited? Like what what does this you know set apart from the other things that you've done in music? Man, I'm just elevating even with the pen, the pen and the the content, the substance, the ram schemes and the wordplay is just there. It's just all connecting. It always connect, but it's just really connecting now. And um, I worked hard to do that, and that's just easy. So now I feel like I could do it with no problem now. So it's, I'm just there, I'm focused yes. more than anything. Super focused, for real, for real. If anything, I'm focused. You need that. You got to stay focused. Yeah. So we'll be getting that this fall. Yeah, we begin it um, the end of September. Yeah, so nice. be looking for that. Nice. It's Soundboard, uh, first project together as a team, my first project. And uh, we coming, shit. So how do you feel like your fans are going to, like, receive the EP? How do you feel like they're going to receive that? I think they're going to like it because um, I'm still giving what I like to do and what I think people like for me to do. But I think I just, I'm good at it because that's what I like to do. Yeah. And they just so happen to like it. But um, I'm really into the conscious shit. Sometimes I'm talking about how I'm feeling. Rap is good, bad, or whatever. But you also getting a lot of motivation in there and just kind of getting the idea of where my head at right now. You know, and I think each track tell you. You know, I'm still giving you that raw, but I'm still giving you that story, but I'm still giving you also where I'm at with it. Yeah. You feel me? So, okay. Yeah, nice. it's A1. Nice. You know Absolutely. So here tonight, we're record- you're shooting a video for the new single that you have right, right. now. Right, yeah. Slow it down. We're shooting it out um, tonight. I'm happy about that. You know, it's just going to be a vibe. And um, we just, um, I'm doing it with a uh, rider visuals. You know, shout out to Bird. So we most definitely doing that. And, um, you know, he always making shit look crazy when he done with it. So mm. I know it's going to be a vibe. Nice. For sure. Now, did you come up with the concept yourself for the visual or did somebody help you? No, nah, in this in a sense, I had a concept for it. Like um, like I said, we was trying to get people here. Like I said, it's a feel good song, so I just wanted to get that vibe. Like everybody just having a good time, mm. yeah, vibe out. But also, you know, including the, the weed and everything else, because it is a weed song. The so weed, you need the weed. You need the weed. If you ain't got the weed, then you know you must leave. <laughs> <laughs> you must go. You must go. For now. real, you gotta go now. <laughs> for real. That's what's up. The nice vibes, the slow vibes, <laughs> the yeah, high vibes. The high vibes. It's gonna be a vibe. Yeah, I got the I got the concept though, believe it or not. Um you know, guys don't like to admit, but we be listening to R and B. So Y'all I listen better. to it. Yeah, you know, but they be trying to act like they don't though. I don't like that. Don't be acting like it. that's how you get the Gucci, okay? Listen yeah, to R and B. Exactly. Y'all better listen to her, man. Oh tweet. I'm clap for that. Most definitely shit. For the R and B. For the R&B. So with that being said, you know, 
Um, I got the idea from like uh, if you ever heard that uh, like Janae Eco and Wiz and all them guys, they always had weed songs on their projects. Yeah. So that's what I was trying to give off. You know that okay. type bad, but not doing it how they doing it, but just in my own little way. Mm. And it was on accident. It was just an idea, and it turned out how it turned out. Nice. So it's hard. I fuck with it definitely. Yeah, I fuck with it too. Who would I think you say, everybody gonna fuck with it. Who would you say is like your biggest like R and B inspiration? Mm. Yeah, that's a lot of guys I like with R and B. I don't really have no specific no Pacific favorite, but um. I do listen to a lot of uh, me toxic. I, I, I fuck with him though. <laughs> uh, Brian Fayez, I think that's his name. Brent. Brent Fe- Fayez. Yes. There you go. Okay. I fuck with him. Per. Um, we love the toxic Brent. Not gonna hold you. I fuck with Chris. I fuck with uh, Chris Brown. Uh, I fuck with her. Um, who else, man? It's a lot of people. Uh. Believe it or not, I like Summer Walker too. Yeah, it's for the summer. I like Summer. She a little Walker. crazy though. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Yeah, but, man, but she makes some good ass music though. She do, and she be writing all of it too for the most part. Yeah. Herself, so it's crazy, and you could tell because it sound like her. What I mean by that is she, you could tell she a little toxic, but shout out to her. Uh, definitely sound like her in the lyrics. Yeah. All through and through. All through and through. Would you do like a whole R and B album? I would, like, if I could, if I knew somebody. You can. That, what you mean? Yeah. I mean, it's just an idea. Like, when, what I mean by that is, if I think I did it, I would work with an artist, like mm. an artist who does it. Okay. I feel like that um, the R&B and the rap thing, I feel like I could fit in any pocket with that. Yeah. And I think I could do the R&B thing, like, on some smooth shit. Okay. Like, I, th- I feel like I know I can. Mm. I could do that. I feel like you could, too. Yeah, I, I feel like you that. could, too. Yeah. You know, R&B... Got a, a lot of love sprinkled throughout it. I know. You feel like you know some shit about love? Yeah, I know a lot about that shit. That's a lot. <laughs> What's the number one rule for you when it comes to love? Communication. That's mm. the key. If you can't communicate, nah. It's not going to work? No. Communication. That's all. Just communicate. That's the key. Okay. So for people, real. women don't be communicating. You know what? Women do communicate, but sometimes they communicate. Um, I don't know, man. Men can kind of be chill about stuff sometimes, and women not sometimes, so yeah. And women sometimes they could uh, not think about it or sit there and think about it. They know how they feel, and then they say it, but it come out a way that you just be like, dang, <laughs> you know. Just dwell on it a little bit. Let me go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> You win already. No, I don't Let me go to the store. I'll be back in 20 minutes. That <laughs> could give you a time to think about it, and i come back. Mm. That's all. That sounds like a lot of, okay. All right, yeah, cool. let's come back. Cool. What is the worst thing that love has taught you? Um, you know, uh, they say love always win. I think that, too, but I think sometimes, you know, love change. Mm. You know, you could love somebody but not be in love with them no more. Maybe you grew. Ooh. And maybe they didn't grow. Or maybe y'all just didn't catch up with each other. You know? Mm. That's all. Okay. Yeah. There's some truth with that there. That's all. Definitely. You're supposed to grow with the love. Exactly. I think you're supposed to grow with the love. Yeah. So I fuck with that. I fuck with that too. Mm. Well, with that being said, we might get some good R&B music too, <laughs> y'all. I don't know. He might, he might give us, you know, some Brian... Omar, I don't know. I would love to hear some <laughs> some window pane music from you. I would love to see that. Now nah, that'd be fire. I think we got something like that for you know project later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me go. So 2023, you know, we wrapping up the summer. Everybody's kind of winding down on like what they want to do for the rest of the year. Right. So outside of the EP, like what else will we be seeing from you? Um. You know, hopefully a lot more shows. We working on shows now, so we got hella shows coming up. That's what we working on, trying to get more shows. You know, so we working on that. We, we, it just got to make sense, so we doing that. Um, just more music we working on. We working with different producers, too. You know, it's a few producers that I'm thinking about working with. I really want to do a lot more features with artists, you know, so I want to okay. do that, too. So um, I have done features. But I feel like 2023, I haven't done enough. So I feel like I want to do that a little bit before it 
before it go out. And then um, 2024, it's, you know, we up. It's a full everything. We on it. So the management is working, and we are winning right now. So it's cool. We on it. Yes. Yeah. Do you have, like, maybe two or three features off bat right now that you want to make happen? Mm. I would love to work with uh, Brittany Carter. Yes. Yes, Brittany. Come on, Brittany. I'd like to work with Brittany Carter. Come on, Brittany. Um, Freddie also. And, um, oh, man, I feel so bad. I love both of them. I just met them. Both of them, like, super dope. Um, Vicky Streets. And uh, it's her homie, but they cold. What is, what is her name? She just dropped some shit, and mm. it's, like, crazy. Ashley. Ashley Banks. Mm, Absolutely. Okay. She just dropped some shit. That shit hard. Mm. So I would like to work with them, and that's Adam of character. Okay. She she's super lit, but her lit different. I feel like, you know, I like to work with her. She nice. brings some shit out of me that's different. Okay. For sure. I like that. I like yeah. that you already got a list of people. That's super yeah. dope. And shout out to the females. I really been want to work with the females. You Period. Know? Look. <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. You know, the females definitely been going crazy, though, yeah, right now in kinda, rap and, and just everything. They, they dominate. Run. They get deal, deal sponsorships, Man, everything. they running the industry right now. Like, it's really <laughs> up right now for females. Yeah, man. Shout out to the females, man. They killing shit right now. But y'all be killing shit anyway. It's just cool. Y'all oh, getting y'all little props. Man. The honesty. Big props, really. I'm just being funny. But big props. You know, y'all getting y'all props for sure. Yeah. Yeah, y'all working hard, man. And it's showing that. Mm-hmm. She look my manager. My manager female. Yes. She a dog in this shit. Definitely getting it. Getting it busted. Uh, shout out to the female. <laughs> For sure. I love That's that. Right. I definitely love that. I love how you show appreciation. That's super, super dope. Hell yeah. Even with that being said, though, do you feel like sometimes, you know, maybe it's like an agenda with the females right now? Or is everybody kind of just doing what they want to do? I don't think it's an agenda, but I think that... um after you hear something so many times, you know, mm-hmm. and that's what people doing, you know, they feel like that's the way to do it. But there's yeah. so many dope MCs, though, that don't do exactly what, you know, we talking about when Facts. the females. Like I said, like the Brittany Carters, the Freddie Olsos, and the Shay Noors, and No Names, and people like that. They all rapping, you know what I mean? So shout out to them. So it's not just, I think it's a big wave with it. With the females, it's not just that type of style. It just so happened that that's the one, that's the style that's getting more light. But I feel like that it's so much different shit out here with yes. the females right now. Even with the guys as a whole, too. Like, it's just crazy. Like, yes. it's so many pockets with rap now. Like, it's not just mainstream no more. You could get in other pockets and make crazy money. And just doing something you strictly love, just having a plan, a scheme. Facts. You know? Yeah. And planning, just making sure you're planning. And it don't have to be big, big, big steps. You know, you ain't got to take three steps at a time, just take one. Right. And you never know that one might turn to that opportunity right there at them two steps. Shit. Yeah. And you might be <laughs> have to skip it, but you know it's done now. You know? So. Yeah. It's just all about how you do it. Facts. So, Facts. I believe in that patient shit. You know, I at one point I didn't, but I get enough. Mm. You know, your time so, gonna come, as yeah, they say. Your it's time gonna come, gonna come, but you just gotta work for it. You just gotta understand that that one door, you could go through that one door and then it change everything. Yeah. But you just ain't ran into that door yet, so just keep going until you run into it yes. and keep working at it. So when people do see you and they hear you, you grabbing their attention right away because you've been working at it. So, and that's what we focused on, trying to work at it every day. But also learning the business part of it. That's what stage is for. Like, she a manager that do stuff, but she tell me and let me know what's going on. Mm. We kind of just figure out stuff together, you know. But she know the whole business part of it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But she also talked to me about it, too. So I just, I'm just involved. Yeah. And I like that she keep me involved. So that's what I appreciate it more than anything. Nice. For sure. You need that. We need yes. that. Yes. Hell yeah, we need that. Absolutely. So as you continue in music, like, what do you feel is, like, 
been one of your biggest growths? Because you've been doing this for a while now. You know, you've been growing as an artist in general. But what's something specifically you feel like has really grown since you started doing music? I just feel like um, I feel like I found my sound now. I think that's what it is for me. Like I was trying to look for it. Sage was in the process of it. She saw it. Like I was uh, doing a lot of rapping, and I was always been able to rap. But it's just about that sound that worked for you. And um, I think in the midst of that, I figured it out. I think once I did the project last year with the whole of my composure, I think I was getting in my bag into it. Mm. And um, once I linked up with Peck and was just really at it and really focused on it for real, it just worked out. And I just found my sound. Now I don't feel a certain way when I do it. I feel like I could get on anything and still be myself, even if it's something that I don't do. So... I think that's what I, that's the biggest, that's the biggest, uh, that's the biggest thing for me, that I know what I'm doing now. Nice. So, yeah. You know your sound. I know definitely. my sound, yeah. And I don't think, like, you specifically sound like anybody else. You know, you favor, I think, some people. Yeah. But you do have your own sound, you know, from yeah. the way that you say things to the types of things that you say, for sure. Yeah, I appreciate that, for sure. Yes. I'm, I try to, though. I work very hard at it, for real. I'll be on it all the time. Get into it. Get into, get into it. it. So we here tonight, definitely. You know, the vibes is going to be busting. You got food coming through. Hell yeah. It's okay, you be got full. booties coming through. I don't know. I just <laughs> threw that in there. Bottles coming through. Just the whole shebang going on tonight. So what's the vibe like? What is something you're really looking forward to tonight besides the video shoot? Um, Just everybody having a good time in the process of us shooting it. Okay. Like, because, I mean, we ain't just going to be shooting it. It's going to be music played in between them times. And people just having a good time. But, um, yeah, the vibes. The vibes. Yeah, the vibes with the people. The vibes with the people. So you're going to be people. up all night. That's what you're saying. No, nah, I ain't going to say all night. Uh, uh, <laughs> what time are you going to bed? Nah, nah, nah. What I mean by that <laughs> is, shit, you know, money is key. <laughs> so we got to make sure that we move our money right with this rap shit. Mm, mm. You know, see? That's what the management for. I would have kept doing that shit. <laughs> and then been like, damn, where the $300 go? $400 go? Mm. He paid for extra time. Oh, true. In other oh. words, get the fuck up out of here when that time hit that time. Hell yeah. Say less. <laughs> but y'all going to have a good time, though. Definitely. For sure. I'm ready to eat, though, so I'm excited. For sure. Whenever I'm ready food, to eat, too. Know, Man, I need that shit through. to come. <laughs> Where you at, man? Where y'all at? <laughs> That's going to be a vibe. Again, <laughs> this is a super dope place, so I'm just excited for the night. You know, you got to let people know, you know, where they can tune in with you and just keep up with you. Oh, yeah, you can most follow me. You most definitely can follow me on uh, Instagram. It's just oh my dot, R-A-P-P-S. Um, Twitter, same thing, oh my. Uh, it's just oh my uh, raps. It ain't no comment in that. And then um, as far as my music, it's on all music platforms. Just look it up. You can find me up on there. And uh, be looking forward to the new project, Oz EP. I appreciate you. Yes. Sure. Get into it, because hold on. Get into it. We love it. Oh, yeah. We love I'm it. I'm excited about it. We love it. it. I'm super excited to be here. Like I said, thank you for having me. This is a no vibe. Problem. I'm finna photo op the fuck out of this space. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever owns it, like, be ready for the flood. But no, this is dope. Shout out to your manager, you know, for tapping in with yeah, me and, you know, letting me come out here, making sure I came out here. We did the damn thing. For sure. It's lit. <laughs> I love this couch. It's super, super lit, man. Super, super lit. Anything else you want to let the people know? You know, what else can they expect from you? You know, why is Omar Raps that nigga? Why, why is he that nigga? Because who rapping like me? <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Now nah, I'm just playing. But nah, who, who really rapping like me, though? I'm just trying to give some to the... Uh, I'm just trying to get something to the city different, man. You know, I really rap. It's the other guys who really rap here, too, but we doing something different. I'm doing my own thing, and because I'm doing my own thing, the music come out different, and yeah. it come out better, and people pay attention to it. So I'm just trying to give what the, you know, what the greats did for me to the next generation. That's what I'm trying to do. But it's baby steps, and we got to take them steps to get the X. For sure. A philosopher, you gotta go into a whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm on whole it, man. message. I feel like I soaked that in. I soaked that in. 
No, but I appreciate you for having me out here as always. I appreciate Pillow Talk Nation for rocking with Robin E. Okay, on Pillow Talk Podcast, go to Chicago's top podcast of 2023. Y'all already know y'all can stream me every and anywhere because this is absolutely where it's at. We lit. It's lit. Peace out.